guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to share with you guys some new eyeshadow palettes that I picked up over this holiday season and I was actually very surprised because they came extremely fast I ordered them I think on a Friday or Saturday and they showed up on Monday right before Christmas and the palettes I'm talking about are this group of three palettes from Pinky Rose. Now this is their new group or trilogy palette collection and each of these palettes, sorry about the glare, but each of these palettes has their own little theme and they're extremely beautiful and colorful but I really really like them so I wanted to just go ahead take a moment show them to you guys and swatch them for you. I also created this look that I have on my eyes today. I know it's a bit crazy and bold but I couldn't help myself and I did go ahead and use this peacock palette the exotic peacock to create this look I wanted my eyes to look like an exotic peacock so let's just go ahead and jump right into each of these palettes with swatches and showing you what they look like now these palettes retail for $24.99 each I believe so about $25 per palette or you can buy the whole set like I did for $67, which is a really great deal. So let me go ahead and just start with, I think I'm going to start with showing you guys the Exotic Peacock palette because it is my favorite. It's very, very pretty. So let's take a look. Now each of the palettes come with their own sleeve that looks just like the palette so it's the exact identical look for the sleeve and the palette now on the back of the palette this is what the back of the palette looks like and each one is signed I guess by one of the owners um, at Pinky Rose Cosmetics I noticed they all have a different name on them I guess maybe it was designed by each person um, they are cruelty free now this is the back of the actual box and as you can see, it does list all of the ingredients and it does have a 12 month shelf life. And like I said, the ingredients are there. But I really, really like this packaging, you guys. I think the design on this is just super duper gorgeous. I love it. So let's just take a quick look at this palette. Now, when you open the palette up, this is what it looks like. Now, as you can see, it's very thin, nice and sleek. I like it. It's it's nice and light. It doesn't feel cheap, but it's a nice lightweight palette. It's not super heavy. As you can see, it says Pinky Rose Cosmetics on the top of the mirror. And then there is a nice long mirror in here. And these are the colors for this palette. Let me go ahead and show you a little bit closer. Now, these are the colors you get in this palette. As you can see, they're all named. And I really, really like the names. They're super Super cute and these shades are very very vibrant pigmented and very pretty this palette is more of a blue and purple themed palette as you can see there are some golds and a nice like light blue and that honey shade looks to be something like a nice warm transition color but for the most part I would say you can get a really good really colorful blue and purple and green look now there are shimmers as well as mattes in this palette. Now let's go ahead and swatch this palette so we can see what these shadows look like on my arm. So the first three shades are Wings, Peacock, and Honey. Next we have Truth, Tease, and Enchanted. Next we have Erotic, Sultry, and Discreet, Risque, Lovesick, and Lustful. And lastly we have Provocative and Dreams. So this is the whole palette swatched, the exotic peacock. As you can see, it's very, very colorful, very, very pretty. Now what I will say about this palette after using a good majority of the shadows in this palette, as you can see from this eye look that I created, I did use quite a few of these eyeshadows. 
and I will say one that I was very surprised with a little bit disappointed in is lustful this gorgeous matte purple here and the reason why I was disappointed in it was because it was a little bit hard for me to build up here in the outer corner of this eye look and it was a little bit patchy I felt like the actual blue the dark blue shade it went on amazingly the pigment was there immediately it's not patchy at all as you can see that dark blue is just there but the purple it just was a little bit patchy and it didn't just go on as nice and pigmented as the blue did so I was just a little bit disappointed in that I would like to play around with it a little bit more on a larger portion of my eyelid just to see if it truly is patchy but out of all the shadows that I used on my eyes that was the only one that I was kind of like eh, a little disappointed about because of course a dark matte purple shade is what people will really really love out of this palette so I'm gonna play around with that a little bit more see what happens and go from there but all in all I love this palette you guys can see the swatches there I think that it is a gorgeous palette absolutely beautiful and out of all three in this trilogy this is my favorite okay next let's go ahead and talk about this 80s baby palette <laughs> it's very very pretty it looks very 80s and the packaging is just like the exotic peacock nice and sleek and trim on the back as you can see this one is signed by a different person it looks like maybe Delilah not sure but it looks like Delilah and once again cruelty free 12 month shelf life and that is what this palette looks like now let's go ahead open her up and all of the palettes do come with the pl plastic covering of course that I'm just gonna toss <laughs> but they do all come with that now these are the colors in this 80s baby palette and now just looking at this I'm like oh this is pretty honestly I can't wait to try this one out they this one has a black in it it has that beautiful Amor red shade that gorgeous purple dapper so yeah I think this is going to be the next one that I do a look with you guys let me know if you guys are even interested in seeing videos with me doing different looks the look I think this video might get a little bit too long so me doing this look I'm going to separate off into a different video and if you want to see me use all three of these palettes I will go ahead and do that just let me know so let's go ahead and swatch this baby okay so first we have Care Bear Virgo and the baby 17 1981 and Yasabes. Sounds a little patchy. Dreamer, Fuerte, and Dapper. Orale, Amor, and Whiskey. Churro, and Caliente. Ooh, <laughs> caliente is kind of nice. Muy caliente. Yes, this palette definitely looks like the 80s to me. It's a very unique, eclectic combination of shades to me. Very, very different, but it's very pretty. And I cannot wait to use this, you guys. So this is the 80s Baby Palette. Okay, and lastly, we have this Obsessed Palette and it kind of get it's kind of getting washed out in the light you guys it's a super duper light pink palette and it has this pretty silver writing on the front it's a gorgeous and it has these beautiful roses on it so this so this is what the palette looks like up close very very pretty very unique and this is what the back looks like so as you can see, that one has another signature. Not sure what that says. <laughs> it says different from the rest, you will be obsessed. And once again, you open up the palette, you get your protective sheet, and 
this is what this palette looks like. Look at these names, you guys. <laughs> Party on red. 90s love. Damn, Gina. <laughs> Whatever. Brick house. Very, very cute. I like the names on this palette. And I don't know. This is a very unique combination of colors as well. Just looking at this palette, I would have to say this is probably my least favorite of all three. So let's go ahead and swatch it and see if I change my mind. So we have Party On, Rad, and Pigment, 90s Love, No Fear, and Sisters, Lefty, Damn Gina, and whatever, Brick House, Stay Golden, and Fresh. And lastly, we have Cookie and Joker. So this is the whole Obsessed palette swatched. I don't know, you guys. This one is really pretty, too. Now, I did notice that some of the more pastel-type shadows are a bit patchy and crumbly when I swatch them, which I expect that from colors like this that are super, super bright and super light because it's kind of hard to get that pigment without getting some powder and some kick up. So just wanted to make note of that, but this is a very pretty palette, you guys. <laughs> it is very, very pretty. So I don't know. I don't know. But that is it, you guys. That is it for the swatch fest of the trilogy palettes from Pinky Rose Cosmetics that they just came out with. I like them all. <laughs> I like all of them. I think they're beautiful. And I can't wait to use the other two. So look out for the video of me doing this eye look using the Exotic Peacock palette. Hopefully you enjoy it. And also, like I said, if you want me to do the 80s baby and the obsessed palette as well, let me know because I will do those also. So thanks so much for watching you guys and I will see you on the next video. Toodles!